perform a reflection over the line y is equal to negative one third x. And then they want us to figure out what these different points map to on the reflection. And then they ask us the slope of the segment between point A and its image is, and they blank the slope of the segment between point B and its image. So let's just think about this step by step. So first let's perform the reflection over the line y is equal to negative one third x. So we want to reflect, so negative one third x. So its y-intercept is zero, and it has a slope of negative one third, which means every time, whoops, so let me put this right over here. And that means every time we move positive three in the x direction, we move down once in the y direction. So this right over here, this is y is equal to negative one third x. And so let's do our reflection. Whoops, whoops, <laughs> I have to do the reflection, I gotta press this. So let's do our reflection. There we go. All right, this is exciting. So what does point A map to? Well, point A maps to this point right over there. And so that is the point negative four comma eight. Negative four comma eight. And point B maps to this point, which is the point eight positive four. Eight positive four. And then they say the slope of the segment between point A and its image. So that's this, this segment between point A and its image. So actually, let me take this reflection tool to just show you that line. So that's this segment right over here. The slope of the segment between point A and its image, that's this slope right over here, is blank the slope of the segment between point B and its image. Well, point B and its image, that line right over here is going to have, is going to have the same slope. That's going to have the same slope. And that makes sense because they're both going to be perpendicular to what we were reflecting around. They're both going to be perpendicular to y is equal to negative one third x. So they're going to have a negative reciprocal of negative one third slope, which is positive three. And you see this has a slope of positive three, and that this right over here has a slope of positive three. Every time you increase one in the x direction, you increase y three by three units. So the slope is equal to, and we check our answer and we got it right.